Oh, what a splendid good day. Indeed. I just learned that my East India Company has increased profit 34%. What jolly good news. We should have a toast. Oh my, it seems the price of tea has gone up. Why, that reminds me of a story. It did? Yes, indeed, good sir. Have any of you ever heard the tale of Balthazar the Elephant? I haven't the foggiest about it. Well, it all started four million years ago. Balthazar the mystical elephant was a lovable old chap who just happened to be an elephant. He wandered the cosmos, probing reality with his prehensile nose, searching for gold, searching for adventure. One day, Balthazar the fanciful elephant found a magnificent tree which held all the secrets of the universe. But there was a ferocious roar and Balthazar ran. The tree was guarded by a monstrous demon scorpion, and so the chase began. Jolly good story! Indeed, quite splendid. Yes, well, rather than defeat the scorpion in duel, Balthazar the cunning elephant leapt over the Gorge of Sorrow and made his way back to the earth at once. The poor scorpion, on the other hand, overestimated his own abilities and soon found himself gravitating towards a miserable death in a crumpled heap at the bottom. Why does this story have a fantastic flying machine chance? Why, yes, it does! When Balthazar returned to his home planet, he became king of all elephants. He sailed the summer skies in a great airship, sprinkling magical stardust and enchanted confetti everywhere he went. Before long, he came to the mountain of Mordency, where he found a huge dragon. Oh, I hope the story doesn't become scary. I'm ever so frightened of scary things. Oh, no need to fear, you silly, silly woman. For the dragon and Balthazar became best of friends, and together they built a rocket ship. I love rocket ships! As all good men should. Balthazar the delightful elephant and his dragon friend founded the very first space program. They waved goodbye to their rockety creation as it blasted off into the future, tearing irreparable holes in the fabric of existence and finally landing on a previously undiscovered planet inhabited by fluffy white rabbits, which subsequently grew into a super evolved race of rabbit creatures. And do you want to know the best part? What? Why, it's all true. I don't believe you. There's no way such a thing could happen. I can curg, sir. I must call you a liar. Oh, must you? That's right, Neil. And look, I brought everyone candy bars. That's right. Feast, my children. Feast.